from North Phoenix. I have an interesting topic today um, to discuss how to build the trellis on the side walls. So before even I talk about this, I want to thank the people in the Phoenix Growers and Urban Gardening um, who suggested me um, with their ideas. All that what I did, I picked those ideas, I customized for my application. So here you go. There are three things that are important when you build the trellis. Number one, of course, the fence. You call it as either cattle fence or wire fence. You got to understand what is the space you need according to your application. So in my, in my case, I wanted the grape wine and cucumber in it. So I chose the size where the gap is six by eight inch. And this is eight feet in length and 50 inch high. So basically I have two of them. So it's like close to 15 and a half feet since I sandwiched um, these two fences um, in between the woods. Um, there's a wall lap in the middle. But anyway, so the second thing that I want to talk about is the wood that you need to select while you sandwich or the spacer that you need to have on the wall is the redwood. Do not go for Douglas fir which is cheaper we know it's a three dollars and the redwood is ten dollars but it's really worth when you play outside we want to ensure that um, we have a galvanized fence galvanized screws and most importantly the wood that can take our arizona weather number three the space we all want to keep the um the trolley very close to the wall so if you look at here i used three um which one two Three. The third one is basically the wood that I uh, used to sandwich with the fourth one. So totally I am 4.5 inch away from the wall, which is basically is going to help me to uh, pick the fruits on the other side too. And the next one, what are the screws I used to for? So you got to mind, you got to keep in mind that you're going to screw, uh, you're going to drill. Um, in the concrete so you need to have a specific drill bit it's only three dollars that i bought um, the second thing is within that the lac screw for the video purpose i took this lac screw but this is not a galvanized one so you need to find something that is galvanized the other one is you need to have the sheet which goes inside the concrete that means you first drill pre-drill it then you're going to insert this into the wall basically i took the 5 by 16 uh, because I found quarter inches um, a little smaller, so I went to the next uh, um, bigger size. And when you pick the shield, you would also see uh, what size of drill bit you need to use. So this is an half inch drill bit. Basically, it was three dollars. Kind of easy one. So I drilled it. I I drilled it for two inch inside. Then I inserted this. So then again, I pre-drilled into the wood to ensure that um, I can uh, push this screw this last screw smoothly but one difference I made is like I chose to go for three inch last screw because from here to here 4.5 inch then another 1.5 inch it's close to um, six inch I don't want to put a eight inch last screw so what I did I picked this one um, I drilled I drilled on this and I used a three inch last screw then rest are on the three inch deck screw so that means i have a screw lag screw on that i need to make it a little build um circle so that now the lag screw goes completely inside the wood so when i sandwich the next one this is not going to obstruct i have a three inch screw on this that connects this both and i have a three inch that connects close to like this one and even this one because i went almost half of half of this wood then i have a three inch here so I uh, avoided using an eight inch lac screw um, from the first wood till to the last wood close to the wall. And here's the, my, the deck screw that I use. I love this, you will find in any of these hardware stores. Pretty strong and easy to screw and unscrew anytime. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe if you find this really useful. Talk to you soon.